As hurricane season ramps up, NOAA is running simulations to see how a warming atmosphere can change a storm. Meteorologist Daji Aswar joins us live from Braze Bayou. And Daji, tell us how climate change can impact tropical systems. Yeah, one way is rainfall rates, higher rainfall rates due to a warming of the atmosphere. And right now I'm along Braze Bayou where during Hurricane Harvey, this was overflowed with water. So we talk with the NOAA scientists about how their research is looking at the bigger trends when it comes to the atmosphere warming and hurricanes. Here's how much rain Hurricane Harvey dumped in 2017 across southeast Texas. 60 inches of rain flooding out communities. The historic rainfall event boils down to Harvey's movement or lack thereof. Can we predict something like Harvey with climate models or is that just out of the question? The reason why you had such huge multi-day rainfall totals is because the storm basically stalled out in the region. So that's a kind of a burning question in climate science is whether global warming is going to lead to more stalling in hurricanes or not. Our models are not really showing that. NOAA scientist Tom Knutson researches how climate change may impact hurricanes behavior. Although models aren't predicting slower speeds, observations from tropical cyclones from the 1900s to the 21st century show a slow in speed globally about 10%. But scientists say there's no clear reason why. The trends that models are clear on are rainfall, intensity, as well as sea level rise. Climate computer simulations show warmer climate conditions will mean higher rainfall rates. Models also projecting continued sea level rise and a slight increase in storm intensity. Why is that so important to note when looking at the data? Well, I think any, any increase of intensity would be of concern. And I think the damage potential from hurricanes goes up, not just by the same percentage as the wind speed, but by some multiple power of that, maybe the third power or higher of the wind speed. So as you heard there, there's some categories that are going up and they may seem like doom and gloom, but there's also the other side. Some categories like the overall number of storms that we have, climate models don't show that there is a bigger trend with that. Now, don't get me wrong, this season we are above average, but the climate data does not continuously put that out. So that is a benefit uh, on the good side of those climate models. In Houston, Dodgy Swad, KPRC. Two news.